You tax in your Benedict too much, but he'll be meet with you. I doubt it not. He hath done good service, lady, in these wars. You had musty victual, and he hath hoped to eat it. He is a very valiant trencherman. He hath an excellent stomach. And a good soldier too, lady. A good soldier to a lady? But what is he to a lord? A lord to a lord, a man to a man, stuffed with all honourable virtues. It is so, indeed. He is no less than a stuffed man, but for the stuffing, well, we are all mortal. You must not, sir, mistake my cousin. There is a kind of merry war betwixt Signor Benedict and her. They never meet, but there is a skirmish of wit between them. Alas! He gets nothing by that. In our last conflict, four of his five wits went halting off, and now is the whole man governed with one, so that if he have wit enough to keep himself warm, let him bear it for a difference between himself and his horse. <laughs> for it is all the wealth that he hath left to be known a reasonable creature. Who is his companion now? He hath every month a new sworn brother. Is it possible? Very easily possible. He wears his faith but as the fashion of his hat. It ever changes with the next block. I see, lady. The gentleman is not in your books. No. And he were, I would burn my study. But I pray you, who is his companion? Is there no young squarer now that will make a voyage with him to the devil? He's most in the company of right noble Claudia. Oh Lord, he will hang upon him like a disease. He is sooner caught than the pestilence, and the taker runs presently mad. God help the noble Claudio. If he have caught the Benedict, it will cost him a thousand pound ere he be cured. I will hold friends with you, lady. Do, good friend. You will never run mad, Cos. No. Not to the hot July. <laughs> How now? What do you hear alone? Do not you chide. I have a thing for you. A thing for me? It is a common thing. <laughs> about a foolish wife. Oh, is that all? What will you give me now for the same handkerchief? What handkerchief? What handkerchief? Why, that the moor first gave to Desdemona that you so often did bid me steal. Has stolen it from her? No, faith. She had let it drop by negligence and the advantage I being there took it up. Look, here it is. Good wench, give it to me. What will you do with it? That you so earnest to have me filch it. Why? What's that to you? If it not be for some purpose of import, give it me again. Poor lady will run mad when she lack it. Do not ignore on it. I have use for it. Go, leave me.
I will, in Cassio's logic, lose this napkin and let him find it. Trifles light as air are to jealous confirmations, strong as proofs of holy writ. This may do something. The more he changes with my poison, dangerous conceits are in their nature's poison, but with a little act upon the blood, like the mines of sulfur. Check. One, two, one, two. I said microphone check. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> Can't nobody out here do it like me. me. Ain't nobody out here winning like me. me. Can't nobody out here do it like me. Just like me. Like me. Can't nobody out here do it like me. me. Ain't nobody out here winning like me. me. Can't nobody out here do it like me. Just like me. Like me. I'm one of a kind, I'm like a rare breed A breath of fresh air, you can see me, Look at me. People stand up just to greet me Role model, kids wanna be me Nitro. Listen now, later you'll believe me Got you under my spell, the whole thing was easy, easy. I just come and wink my eye like a genie Put my crown on, y'all little peasant can king me, crown me. I'm irreplaceable, but different one different. Since I was born, I was the chosen one chosen. Every time I speak, you know it's unique Might go over your head, my words are kinda too deep Man, I'm wise like an eyelid Summa cum laude, I graduated from college Man, you a fool if you doubt this Act like you know I'm the one that's about about this